G'day fellas, Don Cox back in town. Yes, that's right. Lockdown could not keep me down. The COVID coronavirus bullshit conspiracy theories from fucking aliens or Democrats or Nazis or whatever who take it over or something. Someone else out there is doing something to people. I'm here to stop it. The fucking revolution starts here with Don fucking Cock and my mystical hand I've been using to jerk myself off. Angry wanks I've been doing every day. Fuck, man. Oh, I've missed you guys. Look, my fingers are pointed straight at my nose and I'm reading lyrics off my hand that say to me, you need to be shot. You need to die, Don Cock. But why? Why? Just take a second here. <laughs> I want to tell you something great. The other day, I found a coin in my handbag. And I said, ooh, that's it. I'm going down to the Penny Arcade. And they said, what? You're tripping, mate. Why have you got a handbag? Aren't you a tough man? Aren't you a cox in order? I said, no. Well, listen to this. I'm a feminine man now. I identify as a stringed instrument. Hey. Right. So the blue shuffle, it's got real kind of attitude. Playing with my mummy, playing all night. Blowing lots of kisses and hugging her real tight. My mother, she's alright, she's alright. Oh shit, sorry, that was a terrible song. Fucking hell. Like you mean it, like you mean it, like you mean it. Say it like you mean it. Oh, I feel like a dickhead. Oh, mate, I'm going to have to have some fucking morphine after this just to calm my agile state. Because I... Oh, here we go. Look, example 13 of where to get off. Busking, busking by the mall in the afternoon. I get 20 cents and some chewing gum from a university student. I want to kill everyone here. I want to kill everyone I see. Oh, man, that is some bullshit. All right, I've got my glasses on now because I have the anal lock in mind. I have a focused idea of the Doncock Wellbeing Society that I have started in my kitchen. Well, you can dream, can't you? I can. When I get some sleep, but most of the time I'm up at night polishing my gun, waiting for the revolution. Oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that finger. Perfect. Fucking perfect. Only Don Cock has the rigidity and the texture, apart from maybe that Andy Summers cunt. But apart from him, no one else can stretch their fingers as far as me. I put my penny, I put my fingers in the till, and I come back for some honey. And here's honey for you, motherfucker. Listen to that beautiful sound. Right, minor jazz blues. Here we go. Oh, guys, I have just slipped a disc earlier on today. Um, we thought we we're going to have to shot, uh, stop filming, but they said as long as you can keep talking and you do a pretty good job when you're jacked up on fucking meth. And then so I said, well, yeah, I'll just keep talking and then maybe my back will fix itself, I said, you know, because I do have to do a live performance in a few minutes. Uh, the band, the Jerkoffs and me are going to do something. Uh, actually, sorry, it's not the Jerkoffs. It's my old band called Sick Hammer. And you can all watch it in a minute, but I have to concentrate. I have to get ready. The way I get ready for this is to get very drunk and then do lots of coke. So when that happens, you combine the two ideas together... This is example 14. I put my glasses on for this one. This is um, an old Vietnamese song that was written about the, uh, the uh, emperor that lost its duck. Do it tonight, oh baby. Lower down your drawbridge, maybe. I want some rice in my pocket. And don't you shoot any rockets at my head. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, man. I used to know how to play. I'm sure I did. Someone told me I was good. I 
I'm looking at myself in this monitor. I look like an idiot. My guitar's totally out of tune. How the hell has this happened? What? You gotta do another one? Yeah, that's all right. It's cool. Now it's back. Yeah. All right, guys. I've got my old band back together from high school. It's called Sick Hammer, we used to call ourselves, and everyone hated us back then. But I reckon this is gonna be a real treat because we know how to play the blues. We've got Big Bob Boffin on bass and Nickelhead Nigel on drums. He's just gotten over an operation. He said, no, I can't play. And I said, no, fuck it. Fuck your pain. I said, you go out there and you play your ass off for old Don. So here it is.
guys, that's about it for me. Don Cox is going to sign out, but not before I say, on behalf of everyone who's ever, ever picked up a jazz guitar and thrown it at a fucking wall, then you know you've lived a life that's as solid as mine. Not quite as good, but still pretty much acceptable in my eyes. If you've gone out and bothered, why not bother some more and go and bother your neighbours with some of the bullshit that I've taught you over these three incredible lessons. You know, Kev's drum machine was here, my band, the bloody Satanists, whatever we're called, Headband City. Um, we've done a lot, and I can't remember much of it, but if you come back next week, oh, Jesus, I'm going to fucking have a word with you, a solid word, and say, why do you ever bother being born at all? Well, you just stay steady. Stay steady, and if you've got any crack cocaine, throw it my way, because I need something solid in my head that will give me a surprise and say, yep, yeah, no, I've just died. <laughs>